Hello, how do there, chums? As I, Captain of Prestige, and today, chums, I've got a No Man's Sky video for you guys in the view of us. Well, it, it's sort of, it, it's not gameplay, but it's going to be me talking about the launch of this new expedition, Singularity. Anyway, let's jump on over to my reaction camera, people, inside of the view of us. Chickaboom! There I am on the old tint webs with my little Winamps below me there. Yeah, there you go, Winamps, I guess. It kicks the llama's butt, don't you know? Anyway, so, as you know, Singularity released on all platforms, uh, allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> yeah, on the 7th of June. It's now the 13th of June. Have all platforms got it? No, they don't. No, nope. Nintendo Switch still hasn't got this. Now, so yeah, Singularity releases today on all platforms. Maybe it released from Hello Games' studio over to the software houses to then push it out to all platforms, including Mac. <laughs> Mac got it, yes, if you were on Steam. Mac got it, and also Steam players got it. Yeah, it didn't hit all platforms simultaneously. That's a hard word. Simultaneously. Yeah, so Xbox players, they were first after PC and Mac to get it. They got it probably at, what, about 14 to 20 hours afterwards. And then PlayStation 5 got it perhaps another 10 to 14 hours after Xbox players. And then PlayStation 4 players, some regions got it, some regions didn't. And I'm still hearing people now on PlayStation 4 saying it's still not out in my region. So I don't know what's going on with PlayStation 4. Anyhow, so anyway, over on Sean Murray's feed, he retweeted Nintendo Live on the 7th. Yeah, and when you read Nintendo Live's document and you get round to the bottom where it says when it's going to release, it says Singularity will be jetting over to Switch today. When was this posted? Yes, the 7th. You're quite right, yes. So it, and it hasn't even been updated. You know, they could update this, Nintendo Life. They could update this to say, actually, no, it hasn't quite released as yet, people. And on, <sighs> over on the Nintendo Store, No Man's Sky is still full price. And right now, it crashes like every five minutes into play, which I did a video on all of this and the crashes that they're experiencing over on Nintendo Switch. And that still hasn't been patched, still hasn't been addressed. I put the video up there. You can go click that if you want to see more on the actual crashes when it comes to No Man's Sky on Switch. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it does come to Switch at some point. Now, when I... So, I, I did grumble a little bit because, you know, this... this um. This whole expedition contains a heck of a lot of lore and a lot of spoilers and layers to be unraveled. Well, I was hit up within like the first like, I don't know, five hours of it being over on Xbox and PC with, with, with spoilers. People hitting me up on DMs with, with screenshots. So as soon as I opened their DM, I saw it. It was right there. It spoiled stuff for me straight away. Uh, which I did try to avoid all that stuff, but because, you know, through Patreon and also on YouTube membership, I say that I'm going to respond to DMs. So people are open to DM me. And they did, and um, yeah, it, I, I got hit with a lot of stuff that I didn't really want to see, but in the end I thought, well, sod it, we might as well embrace it. It's all over freaking Twitter. It's all over Reddit. No one's tagging anything. So, you know, fudge it. I might as well cover it. So in the end, I've done the video on it anyway. But anyhow, but I didn't get to see it myself. It was like third or second hand or third hand. Beeblebum put out something over on Smite's website. And this is how Smite and the developers of Smite put out how their patching system works. And I'd imagine this is fairly sort of standard across all platforms. So I'd imagine it's even applicable to Hello Games. But I just don't know why they don't put something like this on their own website, you know, at the top of the patch notes page. I'm just going to remove me off of the screen so you can see this. And uh, yeah, so there you go. I can read it now. So here we go. The first thing to consider when addressing the console patch process is certification. What does this mean? The short answer is, in order to deploy a console patch, Microsoft and Sony have to test and approve the patch. I'd imagine that's the same for Nintendo. Before we can send it out to the public, Microsoft usually take 48 hours to turn around a patch, and Sony now can turn around a patch in about half a day. While this seems pretty straightforward, there's always exceptions to these time frames. For instance, for instance, not too long ago with patch 4.5, Sony had a one-time update that affected their certification process, which pushed our certification to one to five days approval time frame. 
Additionally, if we are unable to, and there's something covering there, meet the submission deadline due to bugs, we have to reschedule our certification date with Microsoft or Sony to their next available slot. Okay, so a lot of this is now making sense. It's not Hello Games' end. It is the actual publishers or the software houses that are to do with the actual delay people inside the viewerverse. Heck yes. Anyway, what happens before we submit to certification? Now you know a little about certification, we can talk about how we get there. With PC High Res has the luxury to decide when we can patch, with no time spent waiting on certification. This is because everything PC is handled internally and we don't have to go through an outside publisher such as Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo in No Man's Sky's case. When we are ready to patch Smite we create a build to test. A build is then current file patch that will be tested and eventually deployed to players. So over on Steam you see the different branches don't you for No Man's Sky. You know they've got different ones like the, the whole internal branch and external branch etc etc public branch etc and it's when it goes to public that we start seeing things happen. Okay, so after PC has made a successful build for a patch, console then receives that build and can begin testing for future console release. One thing to consider here is that we can not create a new console build when the PC is building. Creating a build is typically a three hour process minimum. We have to carefully allocate our resources between future PC patches and creating builds for console. Another thing to note is that if PC goes live with a patch, but then later hotfixes, console has to create a new build with those hotfixes updates, therefore taking additional time. Oh my days. Okay, now when you've got all that factored in and you see how quickly Hello Games is pushing out hotfixes on PC, to then think that they've got to go through all those hurdles and all those skips, if you like, with... um. The software houses like you know Nintendo and Sony and Xbox that's a, a big freaking headache for such a small studio I'm surprised they managed to get it all out at all anyway scrolling down why can't we just use the PC build for consoles okay what might work perfectly on PC very well may not function properly on console for example, console and PC have very different HUDs, with each new event or feature will bring many new HUD and UI additions that need tweaking in order to work right for console. Most large changes, such as HUD additions, require completely separate resources to port from PC to console. For example, when a UI programmer creates a HUD layout for PC, they have to create an entirely separate layout for console. Another example is console navigation controls are specifically de designed for controller input and not directly port from PC. This costs more time and test in build, and for that reason, that patch might need to be pushed. But when you consider that No Man's Sky is even on VR and Valve Index and all sorts of other stuff, you would imagine that this is far worse for Hello Games as a studio. In conclusion, for Smite, our patch cycles have been rigorously and frequently, which isn't typically the norm for console games. Well, it is for Hello Games and No Man's Sky. With the curveballs of certification and the demand for quickly patching after PC, we have plenty of console invites to keep us busy. That's not to say that the patches will always be two or more weeks after PC, but more so to demonstrate that the efforts it takes to decrease that release gap. So yeah, okay, the future's looking bright for console and Smite, and we're looking forward to many great improvements and additions to come later this year. In summary, console patches historically have been moving targets due to various reasons, while many aspects of the process are out of our direct control. There are aspects that we're continuing to improve upon every day. We have dynamic console teams dedicated to releasing to the cleanest patches with the best possible user experience, and we're currently hiring to expand these efforts. Now, I love that. I love all of that from, um, you know, the makers of Smite. And I honestly think there's something to be learnt there by Hello Games. I feel that Hello Games could be adopting some of that loveliness and putting that there for, you know, us as the viewers of their patches and their releases. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, would it, to have something more detailed than, than not? I mean, they always say knowledge is key and more information, the better. If they put the top of that every single release, so as soon as they put the singularity patch notes up on screen, 
you know, why not do that? Why not put a statement like that at the top of every single one? So although that it's been released from the Hello Game Studio over to the consoles and software houses in question, these are some of the pitfalls and hurdles that may come about, and this is why there might be a delay in you receiving the update to your particular platform. Boom! Done! Anyway, people, I thought I would just sort of sound off on this because I know that I talked about this with the PlayStation 5 delay and I thought it was Hello Games' end. But now that I've got this sort of clarification on the whole certification process and what they have to go through, I honestly thought what Hello Games do is put it out to all these different software houses and hold it there, keep it there and say, OK, right, Sony, we need this to go live on this date at this time. Same with Xbox, same with Nintendo. And then all they do is make it go live on Steam at that time. I thought all they did was turn on the PC version at that time because this PC version can sit in experimental. So I thought they wait till they get the green light from all the actual consoles on a certain release date. And once that's all been confirmed, bang and then it happens because a lot of console like all the consoles i've played on like say the p the, the playstation the one that i play on the most you know th typically they release every tuesday or wednesday you know sometimes on a thursday but it's, it's usually around about two or three o'clock in the uk time here and it's kind of like clockwork that they're going to be the days that are just going to appear so i thought they schedule it in with the software houses then they go and hit PC, everybody gets it at the same time, everybody's happy as Larry. And the only time that doesn't go to plan is if there's some major, major freaking issues with something or some sort of region or whatever. But no, it appears that it's quite different. It's a very hit and miss and moving target type affair. And I honestly do feel very sorry for Hello Games if this is the sort of thing that they have to um, deal with. And, and then they get disgruntled community people as well. But I think that they've brought a lot of this on themselves just by not having some clear comms out there. If they put the clear comms out there, then that would have been great. And I think Sean Murray putting out there available today on all platforms and also Nintendo Life also following that same sort of suit. And when they know that it's clearly not on their store and they haven't released it, why the fudge would they publish something on Nintendo Live saying the complete contrary opposite? It's still not available on Switch. Oh my god days, if I was a Switch player and I already had Nin um, No Man's Sky on Switch with it being crashing and not getting this expedition and getting to see all the playthroughs and lore and all the fun that other people are ha having, I think I'd be looking for a freaking refund if I was on Switch and I know that's not Hello Games' fault, really. But at the same time, they need to have somebody talking to Nintendo and putting some sort of comms out where they are with this because this it's nearly been a whole freaking week now, people, without them getting the update. Tomorrow will be a full week. Let's hope that Nintendo Switch gets something, even if it's just some comms within inside the next couple of days because we've nearly unlocked all the tiers. Nintendo Switch players, well, I suppose if as long as you get the update with all of the bug fixes in there, then it, that might be some sort of sign of, you know, relief in a roundabout way. That might take the sting out a bit. But if they give you the base version with all the freaking bugs and then, <laughs> and then give you the patches a week later, let's just hope they don't do that. Anyway, I'm going, I've gone off a bit. Oh, my tea's probably got cold. Anyway, salute to Mondo, people. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.